Oh, look, oh, look at them all. Oh, oh, that's a monster you have on you. Oh, me too. Oh, look at those two. There Let's it is. go. I got one. You got it. Oh, oh nice bluegill. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, I am out here grinding on the hard water. I'm chasing after some panfish. The goal is to get into some crappies and some bluegills. There are pike in this lake and there are also bass, so you never know what you're gonna catch, but the main goal is to reel up some nice sized bluegills and hopefully some nice sized crappies as well. I do have my buddy Sam out here with me. He's chiseling out some holes right now. We don't have very much time. I'm limited on the amount of time that I can stay out here on the ice today, but again, the goal is to get into some fish and along the way I'm going to be testing something out. My buddy Sam has his Markham with him and I brought the Garmin Live Scope. And we're going to see who can catch more fish. I'm assuming because I have the Garmin Live Scope, I'll probably catch more than Sam, but I am going to help him along the way. I'm going to set my Live Scope up in forward mode so that way I can go ahead and just kind of see where some of these fish are. He's going to chisel out some holes and we're going to see what direction we got to move. We're going to be fishing on a mud flat today and we are going to be just chasing down these fish let's do this all right just took the live scope out of forward mode put it back into down mode we moved out a little bit deeper where we were in about nine feet then we moved out more towards like 10 or 11 feet so we didn't go much deeper but just a little bit deeper this is all basically just a big mud flat that these fish come out to uh, in the morning and in the evening and they basically just roam around and you guys just kind of got to chase schools there's a fish on me here looks small Oh, maybe not. I can't tell. I think he just barely tapped me. There we go. That one was aggressive. That one's got to be a nice bluegill or crappie. A decent crappie. There we go. I could tell. Decent crappie right around that 8, 9 inch range. I got a lot of fish below me now. They all came in like a school. Decent little guy. I'm going to go ahead and drop him back down there. Ooh, come on, buddy. Go ahead and get this right back down there. Definitely multiple fish. Important to be using that tungsten jig just because it gets down to the bottom so quickly. I like having that tungsten jig and getting it right back in front of them, keeping that presentation tight just because, like I said, these fish are constantly moving. So if you don't keep that school interested, they're going to go. They're going to leave basically right away. I've got multiple fish below me right now. Oh, look at this one. What is that guy doing? Got another one coming in on the side. I think... Either the one below me is going to come up and hit me, or the one on the side is going to come in and just scoop it. There's multiple actually coming in on the side now. I'm going to drill right next to you. Yeah, you're fine. Chisel one like right here. How about that? Oh, this is thick ice over here too. Look at this. I'm just, just <laughs> dousing you in ice. Oh, this guy's going to come smack me, dude. Come on up here. What? That guy just cruised right below me and didn't even say hi? That was flipping rude. Oh, is he coming back? Oh, it looks like he's coming back. Oh, yeah, there's Sam. Come say hi. Big mark over there. The big mark just turned into multiple medium-sized marks. One's right on you, one's right on me. Who's going to take it first? Come on. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? See if he'll chase me up a little bit. That's what I'm going to do, too. I think these are really picky bluegills. I'm thinking so, too. I've noticed that once the morning bite starts to fade off and you get closer to the afternoon, got got one. Got they one. start to get picky. It feels like a bluegill. Yep, decent bluegill. Yeah. Look at that. Very colorful. I figured that's what that was, decent little bluegills. It looked like a gigantic mark at first, yeah. though. Decent little bluegill. More coming in. There it is. There we go. Blue, oh crap. Crappie. Little one, massive crappie here. Little one, wouldn't eat it. Now, I mean, if you could be like triple that size, you know, that's what I'm going for. Get the release. I didn't grab my grubs, dang it. Drop her in. Oh, I had one on. <laughs> Didn't even know it. Sure, he swallowed it. Oh no, another crappie. Another little crappie. You don't get the grub this time. Yeah, there you go. Get down there. Oh, I got two cruising bottom on the left coming in. Yep. Oh, this one's gonna come hit for sure. Come on, buddy. Come right on up. 
Oh, look oh, at them all. Oh, oh, that's a monster you have on you. Oh, me too. Oh, look at those two. There Let's it is. go. I got one. You got it. Oh, oh nice bluegill. Let's go, nice baby. Stuff. Woo. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. I'll tell you what. You've got the Markham set up and everything, but the live scope. <laughs> Dude, that's not a bad little bluegill. No, nah, he's probably pushing that eight inch mark. I'm gonna go ahead and an get a release on this guy. Wow, he is just so excited to get back. Oh my God. Dude, that mark though that you had on you that came in on the right side of my screen, which is really the left. You. Dude, that was a giant. Oh God, two of them right on me. Oh yeah, that was a solid thump. The old crappie or a bluegill. Ooh, he's running like a madman. It's got to be a bluegill, yeah. Are we out of school of bluegills? We could be. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them. The old Garmin Panoptics doing us dirty. Let's go, baby. Oh, this one's going to come hit me. Three, two. Oh, nice. Let's go, baby. Like a decent one. Oh, crappie. Oh, there we go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah. Probably about nice. that eight, nine inch range. Yeah, that's the start. I mean, I'm going for 15 inches here today. I know you got the you got the big boy on. Just came up and smacked that little plastic. Oh man, that is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and toss him back down there. See you, buddy. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm using here. I've just got a little tungsten jig on. It's got a striped back, so it's white and black, and then it's orange on the front. And I've got a speckled little orange plastic, little uh, creature bait style thing going on here. Interesting little insect. Go to go ahead and drop him down. Sam's got one right on him. I want to see one of those just I dandy know. marks come back in. Look at that. Two marks on that side. You were right. Those are fish. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they're coming in. Oh, you got fish. one on your side, too. Yep. yep, they're moving in, dude. Are these nice sized bluegills or are those crappies? Boys. Oh, God. Okay, Here we go. Going to yours. Going oh, yours. he just barely tapped me. That's a crappie, I think. Oh, he came oh, he all the way. He off. came all the way up and hit me again. Look at this thing. He's gonna come back and hit me all the way up here. I'm like four feet off bottom right now. Come on, Daddy, get the din dinner bell here. He's way up here. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Nail him. Nail him. Oh, yeah. He hit twice. I waited for the second one. Oh, it's just a little blue guy. Oh, what? what the heck? He looked giant on the screen. It's so hard to tell. Right? That was the biggest mark we had of the day, and it's the smallest fish I've caught. What it's the so heck? Hard to tell. <laughs> I don't know what that strat is, but okay. No, I don't. See, that's the trick. With the grub? These, yeah, this is like a off-brand, it's a forge spoon, but it looks kind of like a dinner bell. See it, buddy. Look at this one coming in the far chasing. left. Oh, there's multiple coming in on the far left. Oh, I got one right on me. There you go. <laughs> that one came from your side. It's a bluegill, though. I told you. A lot of these little bluegills here. All right, we're going to go ahead and keep fishing this for a little bit, but if we continue catching these little bluegills, you might have to find some new stomping grounds. Get up. A little interference. There you go. That's tiny, right? Yeah. All right, well. Catching fish. Yeah, we're definitely hammering them right now, but I would like to be hammering crappies. fish that are a little bit bigger and definitely would crappies. like to stick to crappies, yeah. We've gotten a couple, but not a you not a giant. Okay one. Yeah. I mean, eight, nine inches, that's an okay eater, you know? Yep, I mean, but we'd like but. to see some bigger ones. All right, well, got to be to work by 10. Probably going to have to start heading out. Maybe I can drop down one more time and catch one more fish. That's got to be, oh I my God. That's got to be just a school of crappies. Oh my God. They're all suspended. Just a ton of fish. If that's one fish, it's got to be multiple, but I'm hoping one's a big one. crappie. One. Come on, please be a big crappie. Or it's a bass. It might be one big bass. It could be. Oh my God, dude. That mark is huge. Oh, coming back towards me now. There's, these are big crappies. There's got to be. There's a couple of them. But they're acting so finicky. I know. What do they want? Oh, no. No, come back. Oh, my gosh. See, that's the thing with Garmin LiveScope, where, you know, if you didn't have the pan optics, you would have never known. It just looks like, oh, there's a big mark on me all of a sudden, you know? Yeah. This, you can tell which direction they came from, you know, exactly where they are off bottom, what they're doing, what you did wrong, maybe. It looked like two big fish. Yeah, it did for sure. That was crazy. Definitely two. Definitely two separate big fish. 
Oh my gosh, those had to have been either largemouth or gigantic huge. crappie, <laughs> like 15 plus. And they were huge. huge. They just came in, didn't want what we had. You know, maybe if I would have had live bait on here, it would have been a different story. <sighs> okay, I gotta, mm, I unfortunately have to go. Did not catch those two fish, unfortunately, but I do have to get to work. Sam, on the other hand, he could probably sit out here all day if he really wanted to. He doesn't have to work today. Nope. Lucky son of a gun. Yep. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pack things up. That was a lot of fun. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, all right, that is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me today. Unfortunately, I do still have to go into work. I was only able to get out for about an hour here before I gotta go in, but I've got a little bit of a send on my way into town today to get to work. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the Garmin Live Scope definitely won today. Both Sam and I ended up using it all morning, and we actually caught more bluegills than I thought we were going to. I figured we were gonna come out here and just slam the big crappies, but that was not the case. We did find two fish at the very end, right before I had to start packing up, that were ginormous. And I'm thinking they were huge crappies, like 15, 16 plus inchers, just ginormous. But unfortunately, neither one of them did decide to bite. They also could have been bass. It's really hard to say, but they really, really looked like big crappies. And it's awesome to use that Garmin Live Scope because I could tell exactly where they came from, exactly how they were behaving, the size, the shape of the fish, everything. So that was pretty awesome to see. Definitely an advantage to have the Garmin Panoptics Live Scope out here today, but for the price, the Markham did just fine for Sam. He did sit next to me for most of the morning, and he was able to kind of look at both. He was referencing the Markham, but he was definitely looking at the Live Scope too. It's, it's definitely going to help you. If you guys can afford it, the Garmin Panoptics Live Scope is definitely something worth checking out. I got to go ahead and wrap this up right here. I got to get back to work, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a big old fat thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe and also hit that notification bell. We are going to be out here absolutely grinding it for the next couple weeks absolutely just blasting out some content on the ice so hopefully you guys enjoyed until next time guys tight lines for men be edits